finally gonna work on this bad girl. That has to go. I don't know if you guys can see inside of there, but it is completely brown. In here, look at this. Brown. So that is not gonna be there forever. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's brown. It looks green, but it's brown. It's horrible. So I'm gonna drain this out. I already got it jacked up. I gotta take off the Lord's splash shield. After that, we're gonna drain it out, fill it back up, flush it like two times. Two I don't know why I said it like that, but just with straight water, flush it out two times, let it run. And then, yeah, guys, I got wheels. Got wheels. Also, yesterday I did the clutch. Which is pretty late because now I can grab a whole lot. But the thing is that the master cylinder, I mean the slave, slave cylinder, which is like right there somewhere, is acting up. So we're going to have to do that. But let's take this lower cover off, which I know is not going to go back on because it's most likely going to break. And we're going to drain out the coolant see how she looks. It should just be a couple of 10 mils, but oh, it is a it is, it is a couple of 10 mils. That broke. That broke. <laughs> so far, only one comes out nice. Oh, that broke too. So broke. All right, finally the splash shields off. Come over here. You find your radiator, which is right over here. But you pull up over here. And oh, 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 right here, right here. Look. You find this little valve. If you don't have that valve, then you're gonna have to just let go of the lower rat hose, which is right over there, right here. And that's gonna be very messy. So. Yeah, you're gonna rather find this right there. Let's take it out. So you literally come over here. So you come down here, you see this right there? You just turn it. I have a fancy tool for this. You don't need it. You could just probably just use some pliers. Turn it, turn it. Oh, look at it coming out. Oh, look at it coming out. Okay, just turn it as much as you can, loosen it up, and it'll start draining out. Let me back this camera out, it's too expensive for this. Chemicals. Oh, wow! Wow! There's a hose on this one! I didn't know there was a hose here. So now that it's down to just a little drip, as you guys can see, I ran inside, grabbed a random big container bottle, whatever it is I could find. I happen to have a big soda bottle. And I'm just gonna pour this inside of there just to continue the radiator flush. And I'm just gonna do this. Put it upside down and just, just oh 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 that we didn't that didn't happen that is it is the camera okay oh man we got some water but yeah and then just make sure it all comes out water you see how it's coming out it's still all green and whatnot you gotta just keep on doing that that's what I'm gonna keep on doing and then see what happens oh yeah gonna go and do it one more time because. Still coming out pretty uh, green kind of. Oh, no, not clearing up, but one more time never hurt. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. I just closed up the little petcock thing. I'm about to, which is the valve. That I filled this up with some water, just regular water. I'm about to uh, turn it on, let it run for a few, get the coolant out of the block, then drain it again, and then do that like twice and then we'll skip to what happens so let's see all right so all brown 
draining it back out again now this right now would be the uh, coolant that's in the block because the thermostat opened up and whatnot so you'll be draining out the coolant that was in the block you see that dirty all draining out horrible nasty nasty Round two put some, oh wait, it drained out. God darn it. Let me put some more. I just used this right here. So, uh, the, don't forget about the shoes, all right? Oh gosh, hold on. Then crush water back in there. Don't let it run, rub it up. Re I meant rev her up. I don't know what's good with me today. I can't talk, but we're gonna rev her up. And then we're gonna see if she comes down again. I'll skip the revving up part because I know you guys are probably bored. So basically, one, two, three. I'll show you. Rev it up. See what's up. I'm gonna do this for a few minutes and then get back to you guys. All right, guys. So this is like the sixth time that I have done this. I've ran inside, got some water, redone it. It's brown, horribly brown. Still, I see it a little lighter. I'm probably gonna do it like one or two more times. Obviously, I show you guys because I know you guys don't want to bother seeing what's going on until like the fa final thing. I, but I'm gonna do it a few more times and see what happens. Hopefully, it comes back clear. I'll tell you what, though, guys, it's definitely coming out way more clear than it did before. Before, remember that was horribly brown. Now look, way more clear. I think one or two more times, and we should be a-okay. Guys, look how dirty and nasty this was in there, and there's even like stuff in it too. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is horrible. Now I'm gonna fill this up with some regular old coolant. I already closed that. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all this because there's like excessive amount there. If you guys can see. I already closed this, right? Yeah, I did. Close that. Now I'm about to fill this back up. Let's see what's up. Like I told you before, I'm going to be using some of that high quality Honda coolant. And it's blue. So hopefully this is enough for the whole car. Because this is one gallon. I have like a gallon and a half. Hopefully that's good enough. Ah, the smell of fresh coolant never smelled so good. All right, so to bleed the cooling system, you're literally just gonna let it run for like forever. Kind of, sort of, not really. Okay, so if you're a professional, what you're gonna do is feed the lower rad hose. When the lower rad hose gets hot, just like the upper rad hose, that means the thermostat has opened, which means there's coolant running through your car, through your block. Also, if you fully drained it out and your heat is not working, because there's no coolant in the uh, heater core. So yeah. All right, so it's been like 10 minutes or so. That's chill, there's no bubbles coming out. Actually, what am I saying? It has not been 10 minutes, it's been like 20 minutes. This right here is coming out blazing hot. And the temperature is right in the middle. Also, I just noticed that there is something wrong right here. The cooling temperature sensor, as soon as I wiggle it, look at this. So, I don't know if it's a bad connection. Is that maybe why I can't rev past five grand? I'm gonna have to probably get a new one of those just to make sure that we're good. But I mean, it's reading right now. So, it's good. Hopefully. And it's hot. So like I said, I'm gonna let it run for a few more minutes and then see what happens. Should be good though, should be good. All right guys, well, seems like it's running A1. Looks like we're pretty lit right now, guys. 
doesn't seem like we have any issues I drove to go get some food I'm kind of driving and vlogging at the same time which kids don't do this but it has not overheated on me seems like I'm pretty lit with it so hopefully this is going to be good you know because it did overheat on me I don't know if I told you guys that I'm trying to drive with one hand <clears throat> but guys that's gonna be it that for today's video make sure you guys let your fan turn on before you fully assess that you're done with bleeding your coolant unlike in my situation my fan is clutch driven by the crank but yeah that's gonna be it guys i love you guys see you guys in the next video and uh hopefully we get this to a drift event again <laughs> this is hey yo guys it's your boy c bones make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right over here so you guys can keep up with my latest videos and watch my oldest video right here well i mean the latest video <laughs> catch you later deuces